Hey guys, welcome back to another video by Life and Lego. Today we're going to be looking at the set 75267, uh, the Mandalorian Battle Pack 2020. Was it 2019? Uh, who cares? But, uh, well, let's begin. I think it's a really cool set, and yeah, whatever. Come on, let's go. So, first off, we're going to look at the minifigures. The minifigures include four Mandalorians, all new. Uh, none of them have been originally made, uh, although the blue one, the torso, does look a bit similar to the one that we got in uh, a previous battle pack, but it's not the same one, I can promise you that. Uh, it comes with an orange Mandalorian, a green Mandalorian, a blue Mandalorian, probably my favorite, and then a gray Mandalorian. Uh, the pack also comes with a separate package with tons of visors, uh, antennas and other accessories. Uh, the only downside about this set is that it does have stud shooters. Once again, annoying stud shooters, which the good thing is it turns out we're getting uh, uh, regular blasters in the 501st Battle Pack, which everyone's almost everyone's happy about except for people. Uh, so let's get on to the build, shall we? So this first build is a Mandalorian speeder. I do like the design of it. It actually looks amazing. I like the use of these dark tan pieces, especially this new piece. It's not the piece isn't new. The color of it is, I believe. Uh, I like how they added just the gray to give it that old old look. And uh, the bottom, I like how they made like grills on it, and uh, pretty much the use of the angled pieces. The handlebar, how they put it in the middle. Uh, stud shooters, not the biggest fan, but uh, small, awesome. Uh, although I do believe that they could, uh, just like in the speeder bike that was in the uh, uh, for the snow trooper, uh, they should have added transparent, uh, rounded pieces on the bottom just to give it that little lift, so it looks like an actual speeder. But besides that, it's an awesome looking thing. I would definitely add it to my collection. Uh, and besides, I'm a battle pack type of person. I love getting these. Uh, second build is the little hideout, or whatever it is. It's, it's different. It's pretty much just a bunch of rocks and dirt, and you can sit a single minifigure inside and have it hold the splaster in place. Yeah, it's not the... Uh, not the best nor the coolest, but uh, it's um, like I said, different. I think Lego could have done better, but whatever. It's Lego can choose its own way. They can choose what they're doing. Uh, the piece counts for this one is 18 pieces, and yeah, I, th I think this. This actually could be cool terrain if you got multiple of them, just put them in a row, and you can make a pretty cool mock using it. But then again, you'd have tons of Mandalorians, and what are you going to do with a bunch of uh, different colored Mandalorians except for sell them online for money? Or customize them like I would. But uh, the overall set, uh, the Mandalorians themselves, uh, probably the coolest part of it. Uh, then you have the speeder bike, the Mandalorian speeder bike, also awesome. Uh, you have the fact that we get cloth capes, uh, not a, well, sort of a cloth, but uh, that's something I really like. I like the different colors of the capes uh, and the speeder, like I said before. So the only downfall is this. It's I think they could have done better. Uh, stud shooters, I don't really mind the stud shooters because, I mean, they're fun to play with sometimes and just see how many minifigures you can knock down, play dominoes with them. But, uh, yeah, I actually really like this set. Uh, I'd give it a uh, 9 out of 10. Uh, the reason it's not a 10 out of 10 is, like I said, this just kind of ruins the whole thing. Uh, no, it doesn't ruin the whole thing. It just gives it that, it doesn't give it a 10 out of 10. Uh, but, yeah, uh, Comment below if you agree with me, if there's anything else I should have mentioned about the set, or just your opinion on the set. This is Life and Lego signing off. Goodbye.